Right, so you might have seen my earlier videos on this uh, MX-8, the uh, Ascalon or a Cellcon. Um, and yeah, it's a great rifle, super sturdy, really nicely made, um, cycles really nicely and everything. But I must admit, I wasn't especially blown away with the accuracy results. Now, they were all right, you know, they weren't terrible, they were okay. Um, but maybe it's me, maybe I'm a bit of a fuss pot now and I'm expecting better from um, a rifle that costs um, around about the 500 quid mark. Um, so it is a sort of budget entry level uh, PCP, but I wasn't massively blown away with it. It was okay, you know, it wasn't terrible, it was okay, but it wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. So I set about investigating it. Now at first I thought maybe it wasn't the wrong sort of pellets or the barrel wasn't leaded in or was dirty. So I cleaned the barrel and it's getting there with the leading in now. It's still not leaded in, it's still only had about 100 shots of it. But what I did discover was that, um, that the shroud on the rifle does nothing. It's purely a cosmetic shroud. Um, and what happens is the, this bit here on the end, this knurled bit, screws onto the barrel um, and then as you screw it down it tightens the shroud up uh, against the little o-ring at the bottom here um, and then the silencer screws onto a threaded UNF bit on the front and what I've discovered is that when it when this rifle was being made in the factory presumably someone's tightened that up so tight I mean they must have been built like Jeff Capes. They proper grollied it down so tight that it was deforming the O-ring at the bottom here and actually crushed on so tight that it meant that not only was the barrel secured at the end here, but all the free floating had been taken out of it because it was ramped right down on the shroud, which was crushing into the action. Um, and this meant that obviously the barrel was far from free floating. And that any touch of the shroud or movement in the shroud was also moving the barrel around because it was so tight. So what I did, I undid this and loosened it off. Um, and then I've locked it in place with a bit of Loctite so it can't move. And now the shroud is, you can spin the shroud around with your fingers. Um, so it is no longer acting as um, a sort of crush fit on the barrel if you like. Um, so I did that to it and like I say I've been bedding it in as well um, and I must admit I am now impressed with the accuracy of this rifle it's very good now um, I've got groups now that I am very happy with um, and I am very pleased with its performance now the number of shots you get out is ridiculous um, it's well over 250 I think um, it's extremely consistent. I checked it over my chronograph. Um, the variation is tiny, really. Um, I put about 10, 15 shots through it, and the variation was well under 10 feet per second between the max and the bottom, um, which is extremely good, really. Um, so I was happy with that as well. Um, and now I've got accuracy that I am happy with as well thankfully. So if you're buying one of these just check to make sure that that hasn't been really tightened down hard on the shroud because if it has the shroud actually does nothing it's not it's not vented or ported in any way or at all there's no ports down here to let the air out or nothing it's just a cosmetic shroud and it's been really grolly down so it means that your, your barrel's not only been held in the breech but it's also been held at the end of the barrel really tight and someone has properly done it up tight I had to swing off it with a set of mole grips to get it undone um, that's how tight it had been done up um, and I'm pretty sure that that's what was causing the uh, the less than great results because it's gone from um, sort of 20 yards maybe inch and a half groups no more than that, 30 yards inch and a half groups down to uh, less than half an inch um, just by messing about with that shroud and I'll show you a card a target card that I shot with this rifle
So that's the target card shop today. And there's actually two groups here. This top group there, that top group is with JSP Exacts, and the bottom group is with uh, QIS Domed. So you can see it's shot a really tight group, it's five shots through each. So it's put like three in effect through the same hole, one or the other, and the five shots at the top with the JSP Exacts. That's a really good grouping. I like that, that's impressive compared to what it was the f before I uh, undid that shroud. So I think it's fair to say that if you buy one of these and you're not entirely happy with the uh, the results, it's worth checking that shroud isn't really, really tight. Um, that someone's not swung on it um, and tightened it up no end. Because now that is one impressive rifle for under 500 quid to get accuracy like that um, out of a rifle that's built like this is because it's really well made and you get a hell of a lot of shots out of it. Fully regulated. Um, it's just fantastic. The shot to shot variation was superb. So yeah, really happy with it. Now you might be thinking, fantastic. Why would anyone ever spend any more than that? What an idiot spending more than that. But just to give you some idea of what you do get for your extra money. Shot just after I finished shooting this. So same weather conditions, same range, using the same bag, which was my... Um, I used my old Hednar front bag. Uh, no rear bag, just a front bag. Um, and then I did the same range... Um, obviously the same weather conditions because I shot it straight after that and did it with my Delta Wolf and uh, that's what the Delta Wolf does so there's five shots through that so <laughs> there is you know there is a difference <laughs> definitely so there's two shot, two groups there. There's a, the lower group is the QIS, the top group is the uh, JSB Exacts. But look at that. Five of them have all gone through the same hole out the Delta. So this is a really good rifle. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm well made up with it. For, for under 500 quid, it's an absolute corker. Love the stock, love the camouflage, love the fact that you can adjust the cheek piece. Love the build quality of it. It's really nicely finished. Everything's nicely finished on it. Shot to shot variation is brilliant. Um, I've checked the regulator to see if there's been any regulated creep and it hasn't. It stayed exactly where it was when I first bought it. Shots per fill, loads of them. And everything was really good. It was just this was really, really tight. I mean, that was... I mean, you can move it now. I've made it so you can move it because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, I was going to take it off, to be honest with you, and just leave it with the free-floating barrel and then just put the moderator on the adapter and just, just put that back on the end of the barrel because that literally just screws onto the barrel and it clamps that down purely by pressure. Um, and then there's a little lowering in here, in the block, that this sits on to give it a bit of cushioning, but whoever had put this on had tightened it up so tight that they'd crush the hell out of that O-ring, it was doing nothing. Um, so I was going to take it off and just use it with a bare barrel, but then I thought, no, because it does look good. And I thought, now as it's loose, um, it looks good, and it's in keeping with the rifle, and the accuracy has improved beyond all belief. So I now think, put another... I'll stick a tin of pellets through it to make sure the barrel's thoroughly leaded and I think this thing's going to shoot like a dream. I mean I'm already well impressed with them groups, that's a good grouping. It really is, I mean it's not as good as the Delta Wolf but the Delta Wolf is uh, five times the price. But you know, for a hunting rifle, it's a fantastic little thing, really nice. And it handles really well as well. It, people, when I first put the video up, people were like, oh, it looks massive. It looks like it weighs a ton. It doesn't. 
doesn't weigh a ton at all and it's not actually massive and what you've got to remember is I'm actually quite short so when you see these rifles some of them can look quite big because I'm actually quite short but it's not huge at all there's a <clears throat> there's a sort of something to give you a bit of scale um, the Kral MP02 is considered quite a small handy little carbine um, and when you look at the size difference between the two of them there's not a great deal in it at all um, so it's not a huge rifle by any means it's actually a fairly compact rifle um, and it shoots really well, really well, really impressive. The handling of it's very nice. The balance is good. Um, yeah, I like it, big. And now as I've sorted out that uh, the accuracy issue, which I admit was a little bit of a concern. I mean, it wasn't inaccurate by any means. The groups were okay. I've seen a lot worse. Um, but I must admit, I expect better from my rifles. And now I am happy with the way that that shoots. That is a perfectly acceptable hunting rifle. Um, the way it groups. And it's only going to get better as it beds in more and the uh, the barrel gets leaded. Like I say, it's not even had, it's probably not even had 150 pallets through it yet. So it's far from settled. Um, and it was brand spanking new when I got it as well, still with the oily wrapping on it. It hadn't been touched. You know, a lot of gun shops get them out, give them a wipe down. Uh, maybe even put a few shots through them to make sure that they're working all right and it's chronoed and everything. I got this pretty early before he'd done anything to it. It was literally in the shop and then straight out to me. Um, so it's not been touched at all. But fantastic, super consistent. It's giving 11.6 foot pounds with uh, 8.44 grain um, JSB exacts. So the power's right in there, and the shot to shot variation, like I say, over about what I put about 15 shots, highest and lowest. It's only 10 feet per second, but under 10 feet per second difference between the two. So it's really good. That regulator obviously doing its job really well. Nice rifle.